friends, welcome to my channel. I want to be a cabin crew. Hi everyone, I'm Chris and today I will tell you everything you need to know about Singapore Airlines. Requirements, salary and the recruitment process. To tell you a few words about the airline, Singapore Airlines was founded 71 years ago and it was voted the best airline in the world in 2018. Singapore Airlines fly to 62 destinations in 32 countries from its primary hub in Singapore. First of all, let's see what are their requirements for cabin crew. Age, minimum 18 years old. Height, at least 158 centimeters for female candidates and 165 centimeters for males. Education, university degree holder, high level of English proficiency and willing to be based in Singapore. They have specific requirements for each event they hold. For example, for Taiwan Open Day, they ask proficiency in English but also in Mandarin. In some countries, they are looking only for female candidates. So you have to check very carefully the requirements before applying for a specific event. Speaking more languages and having customer service experience are definitely advantages in your application process. How much is the salary and what other benefits can you have working for Singapore Airlines? The salary is made up of five components, basic salary, in-flight allowance per hour, turnaround allowance, uniform allowance and transport allowance. In total, the salary for a junior cabin crew would be around 3,300-3,600 US dollars. The basic salary increases each year in July with around $70. Maybe you have seen that there are four types of uniform. Blue, green, red and burgundy. If you are wondering what is the difference between these types of uniform, I have to tell you that it's about the rank of each cabin crew. Blue it's worn by flight stewardess, green it's worn by leading stewardess, red by chief stewardess, and burgundy by in-flight supervisor. The steward's ranks are distinguished by their tie, blue, green, red, and burgundy. Based on your rank, your salary and flight allowance are different. You can see how the basic salary increases together with your position. What other benefits offers the airline? A five-year initially contract that can be renewed based on your performance. Tickets with discount and one free ticket per year to any Singapore Airlines destination. Annual wage supplement of one month salary paid on 7th December. Profit sharing bonus in July. Attractive medical and dental benefits. 21 days of leave per year and 28 days for senior cabin crew. If you're married, your wife, husband can also have one free ticket per year to any destination of Singapore Airlines. If you're wondering how a roster or a monthly schedule looks like, one cabin crew of the airline gives us an example. A typical month usually consists of one long flight, a few three days flights and some turnarounds. Turnarounds meaning flying to a destination and back within a day. Long flights are to destinations in Europe, United States or the Middle East. Mid-range flights are regional, Australia, Japan, China or Taiwan. Turnaround destinations include Indonesia, Hong Kong, Vietnam and Malaysia. Long flights will mean 4 to 9 days away from Singapore including a few days to rest. Cabin crew are then entitled to two or three days off after they return from long flights before having to fly again, which works out to about 15 off days in a month. Let's talk now about the recruitment process. The first step is the online application. You have to check the airline website and see their vacancies. At this moment, the application is open for Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, India, Indonesia, Japan, Korea and Thailand. You will have to create a profile and submit your CV. If you are what they are looking for, 
you will receive an invitation for an assessment day. The first step of the assessment day is the height check and also you have to submit your documents. What documents do you need? For this stage of the process, you will need an application form, a passport size photo, a copy of your identity card and a copy of your highest education certificate. Bring also with you the original documents because they will be verified. The other documents mentioned in the invitation, such as passport, copy, birth certificate, you will need only if you pass all the stages. After handing your document, you will receive a number that you have to stick on your jacket. The next stage of the process is called random question. Groups of 10 candidates will enter into a room and each candidate receives a random question. For example, what is your favorite place for breakfast? Or what do you prefer between cake and ice cream and why? The answer has to be short and don't forget to introduce yourself in few words before answering the question. The third stage of the process is a group exercise. This time, groups of six candidates will be invited into a room and you have to work in pairs. You have few minutes to discuss with your partner, then you have to introduce him or her to the other candidates and to the recruiters. Then the group of six people will split in two groups of three candidates. The recruiter will give one statement and one group has to disagree with the statement while the other one has to agree with the statement. For example, the statement can be Social media brings people closer. After discussing for a few minutes, the two groups will have to present their arguments. The next stage of the process is the final interview with two recruiters. You will be asked to introduce yourself, what are your hobbies, why do you want to become a cabin crew, and other questions based on your CV. You can also receive few scenarios during this stage. The recruiters will eliminate people after each stage of the process. Few minutes after the final interview, you will know if you can proceed further. The next round includes trying a kebaya. Kebaya is a blouse dress worn in Indonesia, Malaysia and other Asian countries. You will have to choose the best kebaya for you wear a pair of sandals, put your hair up in case you had it loose for the previous rounds and go in front of the recruiters. Then your weight will be checked. Also, your BMI has to be between the healthy limits. After the weight check, it's time for the skin check. One recruiter will check your face, hands, neck, back and your legs up to the knee. Your skin will be checked for birthmarks and tattoos. You'll also have to walk for a few meters while the recruiters are observing you. If you pass this stage as well, congratulations! You will be asked to sign the employment contract and your documents will be checked once again. In maximum one week after the assessment day, you'll have to do your medical checks. The medicals include blood tests, eye tests, x-ray for lungs and a physical inspection. The maximum degree of scoliosis accepted is 20 degrees. That's it about Singapore Airlines. As many of you know already, I work for Qatar Airways as a cabin crew. If you have questions about my airline or cabin crew life, please check my other videos or write me a comment. I tried to include everything I could find about Singapore Airlines in this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you next time!